Now on to the good books. We have the intriguingly titled Juno Loves Legs, an epic and heartbreaking story of a young friendship set in 80s working class Dublin by Carl Geary. You've read it, Shay. What do you reckon? Is it a doozy or a snoozy? It's a doozy. It's a <gasps> okay. doozy. It's not a book I would have chosen to read, except I was asked to read it for the programme. Um, and when it starts, it feels a bit like a Dublin 80s Angela's Ashes. It has all the classic, it has alcoholism, it has some child abuse, it has <laughs> deprivation. Um, but there's a joy in it as well. There's a joy about this young girl called Juno who meets up with uh, a person, a, a young man who is a bit of a loner, uh, whose mother is very close to a particular priest who comes to the house regularly. And it turns out in the end that this boy is gay and they want to uh, do conversion therapy with him in Belfast. Um, so it's that story. And these are two kids who transition into teenage years and then into adulthood as well and set into three different parts. It's quite bright. There's some incidents that I would recognise from my own childhood as well in terms of the types of schools that they go to. There's a darkness comes into it when there's a, a particular bereavement in the family. And the person that Juno, who is the young girl, is closest to, dies and the book changes and the darkness creeps in. And then she's on an inevitable path. I felt a little bit guilty reading it because I could identify with the locations. Um, uh, Carl would be around the same age as myself. Uh, he worked somewhere in, in Dublin in a wallpaper shop that I would have frequented with my dad, who was a painter and decorator. We were working class Dublin. So I, the characters, the path that some of the characters were on, the locations, they were all very familiar to me. So it, it was very accessible to me. It's a lovely story. The language is rich. It's written in very rich language, but accessible, simple, some fun, some tragedy and some hope. So you already had a way in, because as you say, a lot of it was familiar. It wouldn't be familiar to me. Would that affect my reading no. of it? No, absolutely not, because he writes it so well. He writes about the, the, the journey in the, in the rain, walking from Dublin to Black Rock towards Dunleary, where the book is set in the kind of similar area to Dunleary. Uh, the characters are easily drawn. It's interesting how he does the characters as well. The, the, only, a num only a small number of the characters are named in the early parts of the book. The priest is not named, just called father. Mm. The nun is sister. There's, there's particular ways that they, they, they use character devices. Mam is mam, dad is dad. There's no name on it. There is a sister. There are locations. I mean, the pub is very familiar. It, it's, it's a universal theme. The pub is a universal theme. Unemployment is a universal theme. So no, I think it's, it's very accessible if you don't know the locations. I just felt a bit guilty because like, I know this. I'm reading something that could be somebody I know. The, the, I must admit, I've started reading this and you do really care about the characters. I think that's what he does brilliantly. Yeah. Um, he's also a screenwriter. Can you see this on screen? Definitely. I 100% can see this as being, it, it, there's not a lot of work to be done to it as a screenplay. It's there. The, the evocative images of Dublin, uh, the, the transition of the characters, the story, the descriptions of their costume and what they look like. I can see this on screen very, very easily. I can, I can even cast it a little bit as well. You'll be in it, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you, because <laughs> I'll need the work.